Good morning to you and what a beautiful day it is here in Sydney. Monday the 10th of May 2021 and you're never going to get another one like this. Anyway this week I said I would be talking about boundaries, boundary setting and as I contemplated boundary setting my goodness one thought led to five more and then five more again. There are so many aspects to boundary setting. It's almost like it affects every decision you make. So you would, for instance, have personal boundaries for the way you behave, the things that you eat. You would restrict young children, so you're creating boundaries there. You create physical boundaries, both personally and in your garden so you cut back trees and weeds so you don't want there it just goes on and on and then of course there's boundary setting in relationships and boundary setting at work boundary setting in your love life <laughs> so it's really about the set of rules that you come up with to decide how your life is going to roll and how it is you accept other people can treat you so um, in my contemplations, what I've realized very clearly is that if your boundaries are far out, like you have loose boundaries or not many boundaries, then it's very likely that you also have very little self-respect because by setting our boundaries, we are protecting ourselves. We are respecting ourselves to be treated in a wholesome manner. Um, and we're showing ourselves love by setting those boundaries. So um, I think what I'll do as the week goes on is look at all of these uh, more specifically. But meanwhile, just have a little think about what boundary setting looks like in your life. I mean, I'll just give you one little example of a personal boundary. Uh, I have several alarms go off on my watch every day because I know that my favorite quote and probably my motto for life should be uh, one never knows how far they can go until they've gone too far and that's by T.S. Eliot but I am a boundary pusher <laughs> maybe I'm forever teenager <laughs> but I will push the boundaries I'll push the boundaries that I set for myself so if I say I'm going to do 10,000 steps a day, I'm going to want to do 20,000 steps a day. But then I have to moderate and show myself some love and respect and actually respect the boundaries I've set for a reason. So these boundaries go off. Uh, one goes off to make me stop working in the garden, stop working, go and eat some food. <laughs> but I usually overstep it by an hour. But yeah, so have a little think. What are the boundaries that you've set for yourself amongst your friends, amongst your family, with your children, with your animals? <laughs> Do you let them on the sofa or don't you? These are all boundaries. And it's going to be a very interesting week as we dig a little bit deeper and... Um, actually do some self-reflection self -reflection on what our boundaries look like and whether they need tweaking a little. Anyway, enjoy your day wherever you are. Over and out. Bye.